Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, self-care, mental health. Uh, I do vlogs. I talk about being an actor in LA. I talk about dating and whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around and subscribe. I would love to have you here. Today we're gonna talk about summer, vacation, warm weather fragrances that are not sunscreen, coconut fragrances because I think that's just so been there done that you know I love coconut I love a good sunscreen moment but I think we gotta we gotta expand our minds beyond smelling like coconut during warm weather months okay so wherever you are it might not be summer but maybe you're going on vacation whatever like me I'm going to Palm Springs this weekend it's gonna be like 108 degrees there are very few perfumes that I want to wear in 108 degrees but some of these would make the cut. Let's just jump in. Hopefully you find this video helpful because I know there are a lot of you out there that are just like me and kind of sick of being suggested the same five summer fragrances all the time. So let's do this. So number one is one that I got at the beginning of the summer, actually like spring. It's Montal Paris Intense So Iris Excré de Parfum. So this one like 100% smells like lipstick iris. Um, it's very, very green. In a certain way, it kind of reminds me of um, gin tonic or celery or juniper. Um, if you like minty fragrances, I would try this. I know that sounds really weird that I just said celery, but gin and tonics taste and smell like celery to me for some reason, juniper. But if you like the smell of waxy lipsticks, check this out. Now I picked this for summer. I've worn this to many pool days. And I pick it for this video because it's very fresh. It reminds me of mint. Not peppermint, candy cane, body spray, that kind of thing. But true mint, I think is really nice in the, in the summer. I mean, think about like a mojito. It's like super cooling, very like simple. And uh, herbs, I think, are really easy to smell in hot weather. We, we don't mind them. I think it's more like smoky things things that smell syrupy and too sweet that are really bothersome in hot weather. So I think you're kind of safe with something like this with a floral that is not too sweet at all. This is really not a sweet floral in any way. And I just love Iris. So if you're like me and you have a little bit of a strange taste in terms of you're into that waxy lipstick smell, you're gonna like this. And I love this in hot weather. Plus the bottle is beautiful. So that's Montal Intense So Iris Extrait de Parfum. This next one is discontinued, but it's still available online at many places. Uh, I would check Fragrance Buy. That's where I always check to get my perfumes before I go to the mainstream stores. This video is sponsored by Fragrance Buy, by the way, so I will leave all of the information down below. It's a great company that's based in Canada, but they also ship to the US. They have amazing discounts on perfumes. They have a crazy range from niche to designer to like, you know, Britney Spears fragrances. I've gotten so many fragrances right in front of me from there at such a discount. So check them out um, and shout out to them for sponsoring another one of my videos. But this is the Coach Eau de Parfum. And I think it's called Coach Signature. This is, I got this in a haul, I think at the beginning of quarantine. And I wasn't sure that I liked it. I was like, I remembered smelling it as a kid at the mall and I really liked it. I think I had a solid perfume version of it. And then I smelled it and I was like, I don't know. Because it's not my usual perfume. But I will tell you, this makes me feel so clean, so pretty and beautiful. And just, it's just good for hot weather when you feel sticky and kind of gross because this is the opposite. This will make you feel like you're walking in an angelic bubble, okay? Let me read you the notes of this. It doesn't smell like soap per se, but there is that soapy element because I believe that there is um, Lily or Lily of the Valley. So this came out in 2007, oh, what a throwback. So we have Guava, Water Lily, Violet, Green Mandarin, Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Mimosa, Honey, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Amber, and Cedar. Maybe it's the Jasmine that I'm smelling. Oh, Water Lily, I see, Top Notes Water, okay. It's just such a good combination. That guava makes it so summery and happy and optimistic. The white florals are not too much. It's not too heavy for summer. You definitely don't want to overdo this one, but this is a great morning scent. Like 
this is one that if I woke up at 7 a.m. to go start my day, I would still want to put this on. Um, I, it's not too much. It's sort of like eating early in the morning, putting on perfume. Sometimes it's like too much for my system, but this is one that I would love to wear early in the morning. So this is a great summer one, daytime, definitely. If you can get your hands on it, highly recommend you try it out. All right, so this one is a little bit of a splurge. If you're fancy and you want a fancy summer hot weather scent, this is Reckless by Roja. What a beautiful bottle. This cap is like 10 pounds. It's so heavy and high quality. Gorge, gorge. And the notes of this one, this was actually launched in 2021. They sent me part of their new collection and this is where I got this. The notes are mandarin orange, orange, bergamot, neroli, may rose, jasmine, geranium, vanilla, musk, benzoin, cinnamon, sandalwood, pink pepper, styrax, and coriander. This is a really well balanced and interesting fragrance because you have those warm like notes of coriander, cinnamon, but then you have all of that citrus, all those different types of orange and neroli, which is my fave. I love wearing neroli in the summer. I think neroli should get just as much attention as coconut in the summer, if not more. This is a sweet perfumey neroli. So it's not a sharp cutting fresh one. Um, if neroli portofino by Tom Ford is too, you know, masculine androgynous for you, this is definitely feminine perfume neroli. Um, it's sweet but cheery. This to me is sunset dinner by the pool going into evening drinks. Perfect for sunset drinks. I would not wear this daytime simply because it's just very elegant. It's pretty complex, pretty strong. It's not something I would pick for daytime because it is warmer and heavier, but nighttime, 100%. This is sunset cocktails at the Four Seasons Maui. Mwah, that's it. Gorgeous. If you want a sweet neroli sexy scent, Reckless by Roja, yes. If you want a more inexpensive fragrance that combines white florals with spices, try Banana Republic Gardenia and Cardamom. This was just interesting to me. I didn't think I'd ever smelled a perfume really um, with like strong notes of a floral and then a spice. This is great if Gucci Bloom gives you a headache, if it's too much white floral for you, and to me for hot, hot weather, there's no way I'm gonna put Gucci Bloom on for a sticky day, no. Um, this works. This is light. This reminds me of, and this is so random and specific, but it reminds me of walking into an expensive boutique in like Studio City, Santa Monica, a California boutique. Sorry, I had to delete some things off my memory card. Um, oh no, I just bumped you. Sorry. Okay. This reminds me of uh, a boutique uh, out here in LA. Like what? what really nice boutiques smell like, with like airy clothes, lots of linen, lots of cool jewelry. Um, someone who maybe even owns that boutique would smell like this. It's a warm white floral and it's just enough white floral to toe that line of not giving me a headache. So yeah, I have Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiori. I would never wear that in sticky hot weather, which it is right now. It's probably like 95 in my apartment, <sighs> but yeah. Banana Republic Gardenia and Cardamom, if you want a warm white floral for summertime, check it out. And I think this would be beautiful going from day to night. Also summer weddings, yeah. All right, if you guys saw the haul that I did at the beginning of quarantine, it was a blind buys haul. Yeah, I bought this right at the beginning of quarantine, so it's been a while. This was a bit of a splurge, and I had wanted to try this for a long time because it has one of my favorite floral notes in there that is hardly in any perfumes. I will tell you about it in a moment. But the fragrance is Van Cleef & Arpels. It was my first Van Cleef & Arpels fragrance. California Rêverie from their Collection Extraordinaire. This is what it looks like. And of course, it's gonna be expensive. Van Cleef & Arpels is like luxury, jewelry, just luxury, luxury. But Fragrance Net had it at a price where I was like, okay, this is the cheapest I can find it. I'm pulling the trigger. And I am so glad I did. If you remember my reaction when I first smelled this, it was insane. My reaction was, I totally flipped out. It's that good. This is what summer fragrances should smell like. If some of these brands put more effort in, were a little more innovative and creative, this, this is what the expectation should be, you know? I feel like winter and fall fragrances are so complex and interesting and then certain brands for summer, they're just like pineapple or they're just like 
coconut. And it's like, okay, oh, all right, that's all? So let me read you the notes of this one. Oh my gosh, I smell like a rich mom who is vacationing in southern Italy or something. Goodness gracious. I mean, also very California. Like, this is very Beverly Hills mom. And, like, I'm driving around in my white SUV. I'm living the glam life. Malibu, glamorous, going out to, a, like, a fancy dinner in Malibu. Ugh. So, this is... Neroli Mandarin Orange, Jasmine Sambac Frangipani, which is my one of my favorite floral notes besides Orange Blossom, Orange Blossom, uh, Beeswax, and Vanilla. This is really fresh. This is naturally sweet. Um, it's not too juicy and wet, I think because the beeswax kind of gives it a waxy element. I don't like to wear any fragrances that are too juicy, too syrupy in the summer. It gives me a headache, and I think it's just not appropriate appropriate for hot, sticky, humid weather. This is, this is so good. And if you like frangipani, if you like jasmine, that sort of tropical flower thing, you're gonna love this. This is, this is total elegance. This is like Guerlain, summertime Guerlain mixed with Chanel, mixed with the elegance of Chanel. And no coconut to be found, and yet it is the perfect summer scent. Okay, I also blind bought this from Fragrance Buy at the beginning of quarantine. This was also a splurge. This was a risky blind buy. And when I first smelled it, if you saw my reaction, um, I was disappointed. I was bummed because I had spent a lot of money on it and I was excited about the packaging. I, I knew the brand is very prestigious and I was just disappointed. And then it grew on me and there's no looking back. This is Aqua di Parma Magnolia Nobile Eau de Parfum. This is a magnolia perfume. I don't think I've ever had a magnolia perfume in my life before this one. How beautiful is this bottle? This is just royalty. When I first smelled this, I was getting cleaning, cleaning supply. Now, as I do this, and I think it's the magnolia, people do say it smells like cat pee, right? It's giving me cat pee and it's giving me skunk. And I'm only saying this like I don't care because that's not what the fragrance smells like. You can't just do that. Um, so hopefully no one from Aqua di Parma watches this and is offended. It's just how our nose perceives things, right? But I love this fragrance. If you like citrus, dare I say if you like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, that the Soleil one, the yellow one, I hate light blue, we all know this. But if you like bright, bright citrus, try this. If you like tart and sour and cutting citrus, try this. If you're curious about this and have the money to risk it and spend it, try this. Why not? Because this is not like anything else in my collection. Nobody would smell this and say, oh, that's so gobby. And somehow I love it. This is daytime for sure. This is like mimosas in a garden, like going to Huntington Gardens or going to the Getty in LA, like an, a beautiful outdoor, museum, you're gonna walk through an estate, maybe a daytime wedding. Um, this is not sexy in any way, but it is expensive and unique smelling, for sure. It's very, very zesty. I was very surprised when I first smelled it at how zesty this is. Like this will wake you right up in the morning. It's a mix between extreme citrus in your face and soap. It's like citrus soap. So you will smell very clean. This is really, really optimistic. The notes are citron, lemon, bergamot, magnolia, jasmine, tuberose, rose, vetiver, sandalwood, vanilla, and patchouli. So if you don't like patchouli and if you don't like rose, I think you can still try this, especially the patchouli. Rose, do I smell rose? I suppose I'm getting rose, suppose I'm getting rose. But no, to me, this is really citrus forward. I don't even know if I was aware the vanilla was in here. This is just citrusy. I do get the cedar and definitely the, magno the magnolia. And fun fact, I knew I recognized the name. Uh, Antoine Maison Dieu, who is the nose behind this fragrance, is also the nose behind California Rêverie. Very exciting. So obviously he's working for some major, major companies. This is artful, like it's masterful. I can't believe that I just smelled it and thought that I was gonna get the full experience and be able to judge it right out of the air. No, this is, oh, 
so good. If I were at an Italian villa and I just was laying by the pool and someone was bringing me ice cold lemonade all day and I was wearing a beautiful hat and gold 14 karat jewelry and living my best glam life, somehow maybe I'll do that one day. This is that vibe. Just with lemon trees all around you and beautiful, those trees that are in Tuscan villas and, a, and you're going out for drinks later, but now all your responsibility, it, the only responsibility you have is just to take the sun and drink your lemonade and fall asleep and read a good book. Oh my gosh. This is bomb. My citrus lovers and my people who want something different. Magnolia Nobile Acqua di Parma. Wow. Wow. I can't believe I ever judged this like in five seconds. Okay, if you want an inexpensive orange blossom fragrance, if you're like me and you love orange blossom, check out Soli Notes Orange Eau de Parfum. I got this at Target. I think they're 20 bucks. This is a nice, sweet, absolutely accurate, classic orange blossom fragrance. This smells like the trees in my neighborhood that are in bloom in the spring. This is really, really nice. I love orange blossom because it's sweet. Um, and but you smell natural usually like it's not too crazy perfumey people also wear more jasmine than they do orange blossom i find so it's a little bit more unique and there's a natural creaminess that comes with wearing orange blossom which i like for summer it's not sharp and it's not in your face so very very simple but yeah oh fleur d'oranger yeah that's by Soli Notes. If you want an inexpensive orange blossom, check this one out. All right, we've got a milky fragrance that isn't coconut milk. So this is Michael Kors Wonderlust. I've talked about this many, many times. I gotta clean this bottle, but I've talked about this many times on my channel. This is an almond milk fragrance. This smells like, like, shea butter cocoa butter like you put some kind of butter on your skin and then your hair is really really clean and amazing the notes of this one are uh almond milk bergamot pink pepper heliotrope jasmine sambac carnation sandalwood benzoin and cashmere wood so this is milky creamy warm clean hair but great for close encounters too, close on the skin. This to me is wonderful for a sunset drink type of thing, even the bottle looks like that. This one is really, really good and really, really sexy without being too much for hot weather. I love this. Uh, I always wanna have this in my collection. It's just, it's just perfect to me. This is also great for like desert, desert nights. I might bring this with me to Palm Springs. Yeah, I mean, and the lasting power is really solid and you will get a lot of compliments on this one. This one is popular with like almost everybody. I don't know anyone who dislikes this one, but I don't know that many people who really wear it. Check it out. No coconut. It's just delicious, creamy, warm, happy goodness. The bergamot definitely adds that citrusy happiness that needs to be there for it not to be super like fall time. <sighs> so good. This if you want a sort of dupe for Santal 33, or if you've heard me mention Oisho number one and you can't find it because I can't find it anymore either, I'm not even sure it's available at Oisho in Europe, check out their new fragrance, Bali, 593 by Michael Malul. This is, whew, I have to bring this with me to Palm Springs. This is desert to me. This is very dry. The sandalwood, I think, gives it that element. The notes we have are bergamot, cardamom, elemi, jasmine, lily, suede, orris root, sandalwood, and musk. So this is great if you don't like floral, if you don't like fruity, you like androgynous, masculine, strong, maybe even smoky, woodsy fragrances, but you find them hard to wear in the summer. This is the one. This is the only one you're gonna need. This is truly, so good. This is like a, a less obnoxious version, a less heavy version of Santal 33. To me, Santal 33, I would never wear in sticky hot weather. This, I can handle it. This is sexy Joshua Tree Desert, like just awesome desert vacation. I will leave my link tree in the down bar and you can find Michael Malul there. Whew, so good. And then my last one is Aqua Di Gio, Giorgio Armani. This is for women. This is for my athletic, fresh lovers. You want to smell like a beautiful open air. You're on a yacht. You are, you know, the wind is blowing through your hair. There's orange blossom in here, I believe. Lily, lily of the valley, a whole lot of citrus. And it's just beautiful and clean. 
a little bit soapy, but also a little bit outdoor fresh air, you know, out on a boat vibes. This is so good, and it's kind of retro too. I think this is from 96. I also love this bottle. So if you want something fresh and citrusy, if you're a fan of light blue, if you're a fan of, you know, the, the fresh summer fragrances, check this one out. I got this one from Fragrance Buy as well. Those are my picks for hot weather summer vacations that are not coconut. So hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.